Previously on the Pom Pom Diaries. Can Andy come too? Sorry, I should have asked if you had plans. It's better if we include her. But Andy, you just said it. You can't handle this on your own. I don't care what I said. If you tell anyone about this, I will ruin you. What about Casey and Milo? I'm sure they definitely still hate me. We used to know Monica like that. Ain't that right, Joe? Wait, then you guys know how she got kicked out of school? Yeah, of course. Don't you know? Just like your secret, Monica. What are you talking about? Yeah, Casey, what are you talking about? Every time I think I'm getting close to making friends, either I do something stupid to mess it up, or something stupid from my past comes back and, well, messes it all up. But this time, I really don't deserve it. So yes, I was in charge of fundraising the money, but I have no idea what happened to it. They all thought I stole it, but I didn't. I tried telling who did it, and they wouldn't believe me. They kicked me out of school, and now I'm here. So you're saying that Darby and Joe stole the money and blamed you for it? I don't know. All I know is that Darby came to school the next day with a brand new pair of shoes, an Apple Watch, a gold chain, and a brand new skateboard. I'm sorry, Casey, but I really want to believe Monica on this one. Of course you do. You guys hate my other friends because they're different. I don't know. Maybe you can just ask them what happened? You know what? I will ask them. You'll see. Monica's scamming you guys all over again. Casey. Casey was kind of the first enemy I made at the school, so it makes sense if she might be the last person I can get to be my friend. Darby and Joe were trouble, not me. I just hope she figures that out before it's too late. So Monica says that I stole the money? Well, she did say that you just so happened to buy a lot of expensive stuff the very next day. Yeah, dude, you came covered in that drip that day at school. Did your mom win the lottery or something? <sighs> My freaking uncle died, dude. Look, he left me a couple stacks and I went crazy at the mall. I never had money like that before, so of course, I spent it all. Thanks, I knew she was lying, as usual. I can't believe that all the girls still want to be friends with her. She's definitely trouble. You're making the right call. You're right. I gotta go, guys. See you later. Dude, I thought you said your grandma was the one that gave you all that money. What is this, an interrogation? Are you calling me a liar or something? Yo, Joe? Out. Uh, I was just asking. Right. Because I wouldn't. Good morning, I'm a little sleepy today. Yeah, I didn't get much sleep. Somebody kept me up on the phone. Sorry, I just gotta lose track of time when we're hanging out. Yeah, honestly, same. Okay, so I have this like pretty cool idea. Maybe we can like go get lunch after school and study for that test on Friday. On to you. What are we planning over here? A picnic? Something like that. That's perfect. We can have a pizza party. Perfect. Looking exactly what I had in mind. I mean, I said it before, but it's just so obvious. Does anybody else see it besides me? Willow, Lucas, um, hashtag Lilo? What's up, Valabos? What's the deal? <laughs> Look, it's the soundtrack to my nightmares. Can somebody put it on silent? You guys were the one who challenged us to this stupid dance off. It's been forever. Is it gonna happen or not? Quit with the drama, Bailey. Coach is in her office right now, so let's go get this started. Fine, let's go. Wow, this is so awkward. I feel like I'm finally making some friends, but I'm stuck in the middle of this feud between the cheer team and the dance team. Like, what would you do? Hey, do you guys have a minute? I guess, what's up? I was talking to Andy earlier, and she said you guys were getting ice cream after school. Well, yeah, it's what we do after cheer practice. Well, I kind of invited myself along. I think it would be the perfect time to talk to her about... Today? The sooner the better, right? I figured if we do it in public, she won't make a scene. Well, obviously you don't know Andy. She's gonna go off the rails no matter where we talk to her. But you're right, she needs us. I doubt she told you guys, but she passed out in front of her mom the other day. If we wait, it might be too late. Whoa, I didn't realize it was that bad. I guess you're right. Count me in. Let's do what we gotta do. Okay, let's do this. Follow my lead. It might get a little ugly, but if we don't do anything, it might be too late. Okay, let's go. I'm confused. So Monica didn't take the money? Well, I mean, she says she did, but 
She didn't, but my friend allegedly did. Well, did you ask Darby if he did it? I did. And? You know, I honestly don't know. Can you just get off my back? Whoa, no, whoa. Guys, chill. We don't all have to have the same friends, right? We're still gonna get ice cream together. Yeah, I guess. Bye, Mommy. And Casey's gonna be cool, even if Monica shows up, right? Whatever, let's go. Okay. You guys have no idea. The dance team is obsessed with this challenge. They just keep throwing me up in the air over and over again. It's so pathetic. They literally have no idea what they're doing. Andy, there's something that we kind of all want to talk to you about. Whoa, like all of you? Yeah, all of us. We just wanted you to know Andy, that. Andy, I told them. We all care about you and we all want you to get help. Are you serious? Monica, how am I supposed to be your friend if you can't even keep one little secret? Hey, are you alright? It's just, everyone knows now. It's so embarrassing. Not everyone, just your friends. I know it's awkward, but all the girls in there care about you so much. I just want to be normal again. I don't want to be the girl with an eating disorder. Then let's do this. You have to trust us. You're right. I can't deal with it on my own. Let's go back in. You guys, I have something I need to tell you. Go ahead. It's okay. You guys were right. I have an eating disorder. I've been trying to hide it from everyone for so long. I just can't do it anymore. I have to get help. Andy, we know. We just want you to get better. Willow, will you walk me home? I need to have a talk with my mom. Of course. Come on. Well, hate to leave you here by yourself, but you know. Wait, I see what you're doing for Andy. You're actually a real friend to her, which kind of makes you my friend too. I just can't believe I didn't notice anything. It's okay, I only noticed because I had the same exact problem. I can tell you more about it if you want. Actually, yeah. Do you want to walk home together? Wow, just wow. Did I actually just become friends with Casey? I mean, I didn't even try to trick her into it or anything. I was just being myself. You guys are witnessing like a whole new Monica. Hey, 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 Casey! Oh, it's Joe. I hope this isn't awkward. Oh, hey, Monica. Hey, Joe. How's Valley Village? Oh, you know, it's not the same without Monica the Mastermind around. Yeah, I forgot they called me that. Hey, Casey, um, can I talk to you for a sec? Yeah, sure. Monica, can you give us a sec? I hate to say it, but... I think Monica actually might be right about Darby. You mean that Monica's actually innocent? Yeah, actually. Weird, right? Yeah, but that means Darby stole the money. Yeah, I mean, I don't know about all that. What do you mean you don't know? He stole the fundraiser money and threw Monica under the bus. I can't believe you can still be friends with him after all that. Jeez, Casey. I've known him since we're little kids. I can't just cancel him like that. Yeah, but I definitely can. So I guess this is goodbye. Wait, wait, wait. I don't know if you noticed, but um, I feel like we've gotten really close, you know? Yeah, I get that. I really like you, Joe, but I said what I said. It's either Darby or me. Next time on the Pom Pom Diaries. I've been thinking about what you said about Darby. OK, so we all talked about it. And we think you should be on the cheer squad. Well, whatever you said to Casey and Joe definitely made sense. Nobody suspects anything of me. I have to suspend you from the cheer squad until the next grading period. I'm sorry. <laughs>